there are two things which we've come across in the past probably three weeks in which I think are very easy to do things that can enhance the value or perceived value of the packages that you're selling in your events business. What's up everybody, Daniel here. Today I want to talk a little bit about some topics that we've seen recently happen in our business and is really talking about enhancing packages. So if you're involved in the industry that is involved in doing more private functions, then this video is probably going to be valuable to you. So ultimately, what I wanted to talk about is how you can have some packages that you can sell and how you can enhance them to make them more attractive when you're talking to a prospect. Um, we talk to a lot of different bars, restaurants, uh, event centers, breweries, um, wineries, these sorts of things, and help them drive more private functions. And big part of what they have to do is they have to have some packages that they can sell which are very compelling. So how can you make a package more compelling? Well, there are two things which we've come across in the past probably three weeks in which I think are very easy to do things that can enhance the value or perceived value of the packages that you're selling in your events business, okay? So the first one I wanted to talk about was adding flexible payment terms. We have a client who about two years ago was doing virtually no private functions. So they weren't really doing anything. They, they were a bar and restaurant. The, the man wanted to do more private functions. However, he just didn't know how to do it. So we helped him refine his marketing strategy, increase his lead flow. And over time, he's got uh, a lot of reputation in his local market. So he gets heaps of organic inquiries nowadays. But what he's done is a lot of people come to him and say, look, Raul, I really wanna work with you. I wanna have my birthday party or my wedding reception at your venue. Um, but I can't afford to pay down 50% to secure the space. But what I would want to do is uh, commit to you and, and having my event with you. Can I set up a payment plan, maybe paying you weekly or paying you monthly? So then by the time the event happens, I've had it all paid off before the event actually starts. And what that does is it allows you to work with people who might not have the cash up front but are willing to commit uh, in writing to uh, setting up a payment plan with you. So having flexible payment terms can open up the market in which you're working with to, to a larger portion of people. Also, if you have the payment such that once it's paid off, uh, the end date of that payment is actually before the event actually happens, then you've collected all your cash up front, which is another good way to do it. So there are two software I'd recommend to do this. You can use Stripe. So Stripe is an online payment processor. Um, you can create a customer in Stripe and then you can set up payment terms for a payment plan over a period of time for that customer. Also, you could use Square. Square is another interesting um, platform that is used within hospitality um, quite frequently. And Square's got some interesting features to do something similar. Um, so you could explore both of those options uh, and allow payment plans to increase the number of prospects that you could do business with. So that's the first way that you could enhance your offer or your packages. The second way that we've seen in the past couple of weeks um, venues do to enhance their offer is by having an unlimited option. The way that I stumbled across this is I was talking to somebody who owns a bar. The bar that they own, they do both semi-private events and uh, full venue buyouts, okay? And the problem he was facing was he had a canapes menu, but he was a bar, so he made most of his revenue through alcohol sales. But he wanted to figure out, how can I increase my food sales, right? I've got a chef in the kitchen, how do I make them productive? I don't want my bar staff to just be working overtime and my chef only having a couple of canapes to make in the evening. So his canapes were priced at around three to four dollars each. They're very small um, arancini balls, like uh, sort of spring rolls, very basic um, food that a, com a company's drinking. Um, in a bar format, okay? But he wasn't really making much money from it, but it was very heavy food. So people would only maybe get two different uh, canapes and then they'll be pretty full because it's quite, quite heavy food. So what he did is he added a food package to his function offering, which was unlimited canapes for $29 per person. And from the outside, you might be like, ooh, $29, that's quite a lot. However, the word unlimited uh, is very attractive. People people see that value as very high because it means they can eat whatever they want as much as they want um, until they don't want to eat any more, which, which is awesome, but human beings don't actually eat that much food. Like you think they would, but in reality they really don't. So having the word unlimited in the packages that are being created meant that he sold 
way, way, way more food packages at $29 per person, and it's now the most popular thing that he sells uh, within the packages that he offers, offers for private functions. He also has a high ticket offer, and the high ticket offer is $99 per person, unlimited beer, wine, and spirits, and unlimited uh, canapes. So this is usually taken up by corporates, right? So they would get 100 people, they would pay $99 per head, and what usually happens with these corporate events is the boss kicks them out by 10.30 before everyone gets too drunk, um, and so the food and alcohol is never consumed to the maximum, and even though they might pay for 100 people, only 80 might actually turn up on the night, so it tends to work out as a very high margin approach, and it's perceived as very high value, because it's done. The, the person who purchases the unlimited package, they got nothing to worry about because there's unlimited food and unlimited drinks for everyone. No one's gonna be hungry, no one's gonna be unsatisfied. So adding unlimited to your packages is another way that you can enhance your offer and make it easier to sell, but also differentiate your offering to other venues in the local market because you now have a discrepancy between the prices that you charge and the value in which you deliver. So there are two, uh, fairly easy add-ons that you could start to incorporate in the packages or offers that you have uh, within your private function or private event business. So I hope that helps somebody out there. If you've got any questions, leave them below um, and I'll do my best to uh, answer those for you. Um, hope you got something out of it. Check some of the other videos we got and if you haven't subscribed, would love a subscribe if you like this type of content. Cheers guys.